Hey there guys, what's going on? It's the Cartoon Kitty here, and I am back this time with an actual Star vs. the Forces of Evil reaction. I know you guys have been blowing up my comments about where the um, Season 3 trailer reaction was, and if I'd reacted to that. And unfortunately, I wasn't thinking when I saw it, I was too excited, and I watched it, unfortunately, without doing a reaction to it. Um, but I can basically sum up my thoughts for you guys. It was insane. I freaked out. At first I thought it was a fan animation type thing. I was like, I was like, huh, what's this? This doesn't make any sense. This, this looks, this can't be real, right? No, there's no such thing as a Star Wars The Force of Evil movie. But then I was like, oh, oh, this is actually, oh, this is actually legit. Oh, this is actually a legitimate thing. What the heck? Oh my God. And then I ended up just, yeah, the, doing that. Um, so that's why you guys haven't seen that reaction or anything like that. I unfortunately was not paying attention and yeah, that happened, but it was insane. So yeah, I guess we're gonna get a lot of stuff in the um, those four episodes. It's gonna be season three. It's not an actual movie. It's just kind of like the first four episodes of season three packed, packed into one. Um, and I will be reacting to that when it comes out on my channel. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet, if I'm gonna do it all in one or split it up, but uh, yeah, you guys can expect that when it comes out. Um, but what I am here to react to today is the Star vs. The Force of Evil Season 3 theme. Um, I tried to avoid anything because it got spoiled and just, you know, things happen like that. Um, but since it's been officially released, I decided to go ahead and react to it and give any sort of thoughts I had on it or see things, um, but yeah, so that's what I'll be doing today, guys, and I hope you all enjoy it. It's probably gonna be a short video. I don't expect I'll have too much to talk about, but yeah, let's, uh, let's do this. Oh, sweet! Neat! So we're gonna see Mina again and the Goblin Dog guy. Maybe. Canis. There's Eclipsa. Oh. Janna. Oh! He's got a cape! Oh, Kelly's got a sword too. Whoa! Alright. So the theme hasn't actually changed. The theme itself hasn't changed. Um, just the just the visuals and it what it doesn't seem it's as bouncy as season one which is um something i actually heard from several of my friends that it wasn't quite as energetic um and i can see what they mean by that now hi there guys editing kitty here and let me just clarify on what i was trying to say but wasn't able to put into words because i didn't really know at the time what exactly was wrong it's the music and the video syncing. It's just not synced properly. Um, whether it was intentional or it got uploaded incorrectly, just the timing of the music is slightly off from the actual video. Um, so I'll leave an updated one in the description that way you guys can see how I believe the theme is probably meant to sound. Uh, but it, it is kind of interesting just how audio and visuals really have to match up in order for things to feel right. Just even the slightest uh, off put and it can sound really weird. Yeah, but that's it. Uh, back to the video, guys. Woo -woo 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 -woo. Um, <laughs> that, that looks exciting nonetheless. I think the last few seconds of the intro were actually the best uh, in terms of the Ludo appearing with his, the, with his bird and everything. Um, controlled by Toffee still, of course. Uh, spoilers if you haven't seen that yet. But... Ugh. So that's interesting. And then yes, that theme definitely confirmed that Eclipsa is um, going to be back. Like this frame right here, this frame right here, she's obviously back. Uh, it looks like she's missing an arm, if that's a thing, or maybe that's just an animation error, although I don't know how that would get through in the actual like theme song. But, um, yeah, so she's definitely there. Um, we got Ludo going on. And then Janna's, and oh, oh, I didn't notice, but the Blood Moon, the, the Blood Moon is actually in the actual main title screen um, with the protagonists, which 
it's going to be interesting because we still know very little about the actual Blood Moon Ball and what it's going to do, what what purpose does it hold, is it like a sign of Starco or is it a sign of like um, heroes to save the world type of thing, we don't know. Um, and then Marco has an awesome cape, so I guess maybe from the beginning of the theme it looks like he's going to be with He's actually going to go to Muni or be on Muni with Star, which will be interesting because season one, we were all on Earth and everything. It was Star dealing with, you know, Earth traditions and everything. But now if we have Marco, safe boy Marco, dealing with the craziness of Muni, then um, yeah, that'll be interesting. Uh, we'll have to see what happens there if it comes in the first few episodes or if it takes him a while to get to, Earth, uh, to Muni, but I'm pretty sure that he will get to Muni um, pretty early in the series, because, yeah. Anyways, yeah, um, let me just quickly skim through, la di da di da Oh! I did, I missed this on the first time through, but, um, Ponyhead's family! Ponyhead's family is in the theme! Uh, if you guys haven't read the book, um, Star and Marco's Guide to Mastery Dimensions. Um, it mentions all of Ponyhead's family. She apparently has a huge, ginormous family. Um, but I didn't think, I didn't know if they'd be making an appearance or not. But here they are in the main theme, so that's awesome. Uh, <laughs> they're all really cute and everything, and it'll be interesting to see. Maybe we'll have an episode with all of them in it. That would actually be kind of, kind of cool. So I'm guessing season two we'll be exploring more of Muni which would be nice because there's so little we know. And after the book, now we want to know a lot more because there's so many kingdoms. Um, we got Ludo's Castle, we got the Pigeon Kingdom, we got tons of other places. So yeah, um, that'll be interesting. And then of course we have the Underworld with Tom. But yeah, um, so my overall thoughts of the theme, it's lacking energy. Like it's more, I think it's more to like show off things. I don't know, it's just, kind of missing its bounce that season one had. I don't know if it's because the animation isn't as smooth or something. I honestly can't tell. Um, but something, something just seems a little bit off about this one. But the last few seconds where um, she looks up at Ludo and then they all go into the main posing sequence, um, that part is really cool. So, but I mean, it's just a theme, so it won't matter too much in the long run. Um, but that's the, that's the only thing I noticed. So yeah, uh, that's all I have for today on Star vs. the Forces of Evil stuff. Uh, again, you guys will see when I will be uploading the um, movie movie. Uh, you can follow me in on my Twitter if you want to keep up an update on that and any other videos that I'll do. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it for today, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down below on this, because I'd be interested to see what all you think of this theme, you know, your predictions for what's going to happen in the third season. Because um, we have like a month away before it actually comes, comes to fruition. But yeah. Star. Marco Diaz, stop. We're sad now. Act sad. Aww. Raphael, <laughs> what are you doing? I was just going to call the the team sadness hotline. The wait <laughs> is over. Oh, I love that back. Stars back. <laughs> Yay! Star for the Force of Evil two-hour movie event premieres Saturday, July fifteenth. Anywhere you watch Disney XD. Fetch us our loincloths. What? Yay! Alright, so we're back. It's officially... the promo uh, is officially showing that the show is back now. And poor Marco is all sad and everything, so I'm guessing in the two-hour movie event um, that he's going to end up going back to Muni. Uh, and then his Star's family is like, yeah, yeah, come on! Especially River, knowing him, he's just like, yeah, yeah, come on, man! Even though he knows the danger of Toffee and everything like that. Um, if he even does, I actually don't know if Moon actually told him that Toffee's back. I would assume she would, because she is her husband and he is the king. Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see and oh, I can't wait. I'm so hyped, I'm so hyped. I liked the background that they were using, the um, the cleaved wand. It kind of looked cool with the little green effect and everything. 
Something I noticed about the promo, though, that I didn't see in the theme, um, Luna looks like he, for a brief second, he was back in control. So I, I'm guessing he'll probably become aware at some point in the series that someone's manipulated him. I don't know if we'll find out exactly if Toffee's the one doing it, but he will find out, I'm sure, at some point that someone is manipulating him using the wand, which is now embedded forever in his hand. If I were to guess, I would say he probably learns it from Glossrick, because uh, I think it showed in the theme that Glossrick's going to be hanging around Ludo, so that, that'll be interesting. Well, that's it for that promo. Not too much to react at, but um, I, throw it in, I threw it in here because I knew you guys would probably want to see it anyways. So, there it is. Uh, yeah, in terms and regards of Star vs. The Force of Evil stuff for now, uh, if any more promos come out, I'll watch them, but I might not upload them unless I have an actual, you know, big reaction to them or anything like that. Uh, again, sorry for missing the whole uh, Season 3 promo thing. I'm actually really surprised that I messed that up, but um, yeah. So, if anything, if but if anything comes between now and the time of the movie, and it's something big, um, I'll make sure that this time I actually record my reaction to it. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, let me know your thoughts about the theme and everything down in the comments below. Uh, leave a like on this video, follow me on my social media for uh, futures on... They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, when you're not really fine, you just can't get into it because they would never...